Dominic Toretto just went rogue. You gonna turn your back on family? We knew that if we were gonna continue, we needed to do something different, but not like a different in a jump the shark kind of way. And we were just really talking about the characters and what we could do. And when we, the idea came up of that uh, Dom um, turns against the team, that was just like kind of a light bulb went off in all of us that that was a really interesting uh, path to take. And um, we felt like we just needed something different. We wanted the audience to give the audience what they expect in a Fast and Furious movie but we didn't want to give them only what they expect. So throwing that wrench into it, I think is really interesting for us as filmmakers and really hopefully interesting for the audience as well. It's not a torpedo! Take the wheel. What? This is crazy! Ah! We wrote the sequence where it was a, a race across a frozen lake and then so it's on the page and it's like, oh, well now where are we gonna shoot this? And we tried to come up with a variety of places we could do it and you know, a lot of places were like, oh yeah, we got this frozen lake, but there's no way you can put these amount of cars on there for uh, environmental reasons or safety reasons. And we were lucky enough that in Iceland we were actually able to do this and we were just sweating it out. It was like, is the lake going to freeze thick enough that we can do what we need to do? Um, but it was an amazing location. We have terrific footage from there and uh, I, can honestly say I don't think anybody's going to ever see an action sequence like the one we filmed on the frozen lake in Iceland. It's an incredible third act, um, and I think it delivers everything you've grown to be accustomed to in a Fast and Furious film. You get style points for that one. Woo!